Hey there, it's Tom Corsonol's number one best-selling author of Schedule Your Success and founder of TCK Publishing. In this video, I want to share with you a simple principle, a simple idea that will transform how you do business and the results you get at work, whether you work from home in a company, uh, big or small. This simple idea and these simple strategies will allow you to be the type of person that people love to work with. So one of the things that with all the technology these days and all the fast-paced uh, business stuff going on these days, people want folks who are fun and easy to work with. And one of the problems is that because of our kind of like ADD society today, where you know we're addicted to Facebook and social media and instant gratification, that we often neglect to take the time we really should be taking when we're communicating and working with other people. So I want to show you how to work with other people way more effectively. So first of all, you want to think from the other person's perspective. So when someone asks you to do something, to do a task, or ask you to work on a project, or ask you a question, or any kind of communication, you want to think from their perspective and, and ask, you know, what can I do to make it easier, faster, and more beneficial to them, right? And sometimes that could be, you know, sharing the link to something. Sometimes that could be, you know, hopping on the phone, actually giving them a phone call to walk them through the process. Sometimes it could be, you know, coming up with new ideas or ways to help them or ways to do whatever they're trying to do even better. So just kind of have that question in mind, you know, what can I do to make it easier, faster, more beneficial for this person that I'm working with? And the more you can do on your end, the more they're going to want to add to your relationship and vice versa, and the more work you're actually going to get done. You know, all success in life, right, is about good relationships. So long-term success in business is about long-term relationships. And one of the best ways to build relationships is to really to go out of your way, just like you would with a best friend, just like you would with a spouse or a family member or your kids. You know, you go out of their way to really help them, to serve them. You go above and beyond. And those simple little steps, those simple little things, those simple little gestures can make all the difference in the world between an amazing lifelong relationship and a business relationship or a partnership or a relationship that just doesn't work in the long run. The other thing you want to do is make sure you respond promptly, right? You don't want to be the bottleneck today. Like everyone's trying to move fast today. And so, you know, if someone needs your okay on a project or they need your input or they need, you know, a, an image or a file or something from you in order to complete the project, you know, get that done as quickly as possible. Don't just open the email and then go on to something else. Like as soon as you see it, do your best to actually get that done so you're not the bottleneck, so you're not the one holding up the entire process, right? You don't want to be the one person that everyone's waiting for to get stuff done. You want to be the person that everyone can rely on to get the work done as quickly as possible. Now, when you need help, and there will be times when you're at work and you're working on something that you absolutely need help, make sure you come up with at least one possible solution before you go to someone to ask for help. And what this does is it, it first of all, it lets people know that, you know, you're not just asking for help because you're lazy, right? You're not just asking for help because, you know, you want to chit chat, right? You're genuinely asking for help because you need you need help on that project. And so the other thing it does is it, is it proves to people you can say, hey, you know, I came up with this idea. I'm not sure it's the best. Could you give me your advice on that? Uh, and what that does, again, is, is it just builds a better relationship with people and lets them know that you're a serious person, right? You're a serious person who really wants to get the job done right. You've already thought about it and you've already came up with a potential solution, but you're looking for the best solution or an even better solution. Okay, now the next thing you want to do is make sure you share links. So when you're emailing people, you know, you're asking someone to look at a website or review a project or, or whatever it is or look at an account, make sure you link directly to the exact page that person needs. So if you're, you know, you're talking about a, a Facebook message on a Facebook page, you know, link to that exact message on that exact page so that person can just click the link with one click and go right to exactly what you're talking about and deal with it, right? It's going to save them so much time. Especially when you're already on that website, you're already on that page, um, you know, instead of them having to log into the account and click several buttons and search for it and find it, uh, you're already on that page, just copy the URL of that, of that link, email them the link so they can immediately get there, it'll save them so much time. Right. And so much frustration and aggravation because, you know, if every time someone gets an email from you, they have to look up what you're what you're talking about and and spend five minutes just trying to find what you're talking about. They're not really going to be excited to, to respond to your emails in the future. Right. So if you can share that direct link, it's going to save them a ton of time and help you get better results you want a whole lot quicker. Now, the other thing you want to do is make sure you always do what you say you're going to do, right? Always do what you say you're going to do. If this is the one thing in business and in life that will set you apart from everyone else. 
if you can always do what you say you're going to do, you will always have a job, right? You will always have good friends. You will always have some good relationships in your life if you always do what you say you're going to do because people know they can trust you. People know they can rely on you. People know that you're someone who actually does what you say you're going to do, that you actually get the job done. And, you know, sometimes in life things are going to change, and it's okay. You know, you might commit to something say, yes, I'm actually gonna, I'm going to be there at 8 p.m., and something comes up, and you can't be there. That's fine. This, you know, it's okay to, to uh, decommit to something. That means that, you know, as soon as you find out that you're not going to be able to make the project on time, or you're not going to be able to show up on time, you let people know. You email them or send them a phone call or text and let them know, hey, uh, this changed, and so I can't be there. I can't make that commitment. Um, if you always do what you're saying you're going to do, and then if things change, you let people know right away and you're, you're staying in communication with them, you will be so far ahead of everyone else, and you will never have to worry about if you're going to have a job or if you're going to have good relationships because you will because you're someone that people can trust. Now, the other thing you want to do is make sure you ask questions to clarify. Uh, so it's much better to take a little bit of extra time up front, uh, you know, before you start a project, before you commit to something, to really make sure you really understand it, to make sure you understand the communication of the other person. This is really important when you're working on Slack and email and, and you know, text-based stuff, or you're not, you're not meeting people face-to-face. -to -face. Um, you want to make sure there's no miscommunication. And so, you know, ask questions up front rather than wasting everyone's time because you made mistakes because you didn't understand what you were really supposed to be doing. Right. So by taking a little bit of extra time to ask questions, to clarify, you know, it might seem like you're bugging people or you're, you know, you're stupid because you have to ask questions, but that's not what it is at all. It's really an intelligent sign of an intelligent human being to take the extra time to ask some questions, even if they seem like dumb questions, to just make sure you understand exactly what's going on, exactly what's expected of you, exactly what needs to be done so that you can actually focus on doing the right thing. Because if you, you know, if someone says, you know, asks you to do a project and you misunderstand them and do something completely different, then you, all that time has been wasted, right? And then you have to go back to that person and present them this, you know, this wasted project that was the wrong thing to do. And they have to, you know, explain to you. And it just takes so much more time if you make those kinds of mistakes just because of simple miscommunication. So make sure you take the time up front before you start a project, before you start a task understand exactly what's expected of you and exactly what the point is, what are the purposes of that project. So you make sure you get the job done right the first time and that will save everyone a ton of time. And again, it will make, make people want to work with you because they know that, yeah, you're going to do the job right. You're going to spend the time up front to make sure you're doing the right things in the right way so that you always have the best results possible when you work on our project. Now, if you follow these simple points, these simple things, you will be way ahead of the competition. All right, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you like this, please go ahead and click the like button below. Post your comments if you have any questions or anything I can help with. And please share this video with other folks you know who could use these tips to improve their work life and their career. All right, I'm wishing you an incredible day. Take care.